September actually that I've actually that I've been online. So there's actually there's actually a pretty good reason as to why. Um, well, it's good and it's not. But anyway, so I'll go ahead and open up with prayer really quickly, and we'll kind of get into a little bit of a story time and. I'm just going to do this work on a little mini painting for y'all to kind of watch and join in. And we'll do that. So, all right. Heavenly Father, God Almighty, thank you, Lord, for this afternoon. And thank you, Lord, for allowing me to get back into the swing of things. And to kind of get to catch up with everybody on here and just get back to creating in my studio again. It's kind of a long break, and it was not really an, an anticipated break, but you know the reasons behind that. And I pray for everybody else that they stay, remain to stay healthy, and everybody has a wonderful, productive week, and that everybody's emotionally, mentally, spiritually at peace, especially with everything going on right now. And bless the rest of this afternoon we have. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so now I'm gonna switch over and we're gonna just kind of go ahead and start painting. So right now I'm kind of, I was prepping my canvases a little bit before, before I got into this. So right now I'm gonna do like a little mini oil painting. Some of y'all that have tuned in before, oh, well, this is like my little work desk. I'm gonna kind of Let's see if I can kind of zoom in a little bit. There we go. It's going to take me a little bit to get adjusted again. This one's going to be a little bit of a smaller canvas that I'm having worked in a little bit of a while. It's about the little canvas I'm going to be working on today is a little bit of a two and a half inch. So right now I'm just going to kind of get back into the swing of things. And like I said, there was a bit of a reason as to why. Just a bit of a reason as to why I was out. I haven't been online usually in the past couple weeks or so. Right now I'm gonna kinda get started on some music. And go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be listening to some lo-fi music. It's kind of always my go-to. Today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be kind of doing something a little bit out of my comfort zone a little bit. And I'm going to be creating a tortoise. I usually don't paint reptiles or creatures really of any kind, but so we're going to see how this goes. I have a little bit of a I'll be doing some line work and fleshing it in first. Right now my canvas is a little bit too big to be having on the scenes.
right now I'm kind of just blocking in some basic shapes first. Okay, so now for story time of sorts. Um, there's actually a pretty good, like I said, it's like a mixture of a good and a kind of a scary reason as to why I've been out most, I've missed about, I think it was about three weeks. It's going almost on a month. So praise God, everything's fine and we're back at it. But all of September was actually pretty scary. Um, does my husband and I, we've been actually been recovering from we both had tested positive in September for COVID. So we were both, well, recovering. And I'm still in a way recovering a little bit. It's still, and my husband is too. We're 100% we're better, praise God. But it's like, right now it's our energy levels mainly. For me, it's fatigue mostly. But we're, yeah, it was just like a really, really scary month. especially because my husband is very he's a very healthy person and it really testing positive really knocked the wind out of him so it's it's not like a cold or like a flu it's very very unpredictable and praise God we had like our family was constantly checking up on us and friends and members from our church they were very helpful as well constantly checking up on us bringing us food when you're in quarantine for an entire month you can't exactly it's hard to really figure out how the heck you're going to do things Stretch this out a little bit here. Stretch that. Right now I'm just kind of just doing some little layering here, line work. But anyway, that's just kind of a snippet from the COVID. I just dubbed it the COVID staycation, but it wasn't really a stay. Can't really call it a staycation. It was just terrifying, terrifying, terrifying to say the least.
And with me, it was a little scary too, just because I'm I'm currently several months in my pregnancy. I'm about six and a half, I'm going on seven months. So that, worrying about the baby too, it's, it was not fun, not a fun time. This little line work is okay for right now. I'll go ahead and just start on the little minor details. figure out how I'm going to go about this. Right now, the highlight of everything is just enjoying the coolness of the weather. Even though South Texas is not really, doesn't I don't consider it necessarily like a real fall. But it's still like the change of pace instead of just hot, hotter and hottest. It's actually been really, really nice. 
do you all do anything specifically that that to celebrate the coming of fall, or you just kind of, or your is fall even your favorite month? Kind of just like let me know. Personally, fall is like one of my, is my ultimate favorite month, but then I'm kind of biased just because my birthday is in fall. That and because of the food. I'm like a big foodie. So I love trying different recipes, especially pumpkin recipes. I kind of made it a tradition with my husband last year that we were going to, that I was going to create, or not create, but try out an experiment with different pumpkin recipes. Usually in the start of like September and things like that. So far, the recipes that we really enjoy that I've made, I actually found a really good pumpkin scone, a vegan pumpkin scone recipe. Um, I believe the the chef, the cook that created the recipe, it's like on the Hot for Food blog. That's the YouTube channel, I think. It's called Hot for Food. Hot for Food, it has really, really... Uh, the cook that does all of the recipes, she makes really, really amazing scones. And, and I tried a recipe through there. And it was really good. It's actually pretty simple. That, and then we could do like pumpkin spice lattes, like tea lattes, coffee lattes. I'm not really a coffee drinker, but I'll usually make some, my husband's more of the coffee drinker in the house, so I'll make different coffee variants. Hey, Mir, how are you? Yeah, it's been a while since I've actually been on, so... Actually trying to get back into the swing of things, it's... A bit of a recovery... Past month. And how have you been?
I'm good. Um, I'm still kind of recovering, actually, but um, for the most part, I'm feeling pretty well. I was saying that it's like there was a reason why I've been kind of out for a while, like for the past few weeks. Because my husband and I, we were both recovering from COVID. And barely, barely, this past Saturday, I tested negative. So it's been a, been a crazy month. <laughs> very, very crazy month. And so the entire the past few weeks or so, I was mainly like, my because my husband got hit very hard with it. He had kind of like, it was like a moderate, kind of like in the middle, like a bit of a moderate case. It was very scary. So I had to like see to him for the past few weeks and then I tested positive with it. So it was a big mess. And how are you? Are you enjoying the fall weather? Or is there... Or is it... I think it... No, I think Puerto Rico would be probably a little bit too tropical. It's like, I don't know if they would necessarily have fall. Kind of widen up this little area here. There we go. This area. Discover matches all the cash back you earn on your credit card at the end of your first year. It's amazing because Discover's accepted at 99% of places in the U.S. that take credit cards. Learn more at discover.com slash yes. 2021 Nielsen Report. Limitations apply. Yes, I'm fine. It was just a crazy, crazy month. My husband got, he, it was very scary mainly with my husband. I had a mild case, but for me, it's kind of hard to say because I have a very... I have a very high, I guess, like a weirdly high um, pain tolerance. I, I guess that's like the only way I can put it. I have a very high pain tolerance. So 
to say like my case was mild, it's hard to say. I, I can't really, I don't know if I can say it necessarily accurately to specify if it was my, if my case was mild or not. My husband, on the other hand, he had, it was, it's not like a flu and it's not like a cold. That's the only way I can describe this thing. It's very much unpredictable. It's very erratic. His fevers were very up and down. His fevers were very, very skyrocketing. His, they would be stable during the day, but at night is when they would skyrocket. And uh, his breathing and oxygen levels were up and down, up and down too. So it was, it was a big roller coaster trying to keep track and then to take care of him. And there's only so much you can do because you can't exactly go in there and and tend to them like you would normally with a with a regular illness like a cold or anything. You can't go in there, feel the feel the person's forehead, check on them, see how they're doing. It's it's scary. It's a very scary thing. For me, it was um, and then I got I tested positive. I barely barely just this past Saturday I tested negative. So I'm we're all we're both out of the clear. We're both in the clear. My husband is completely like he's fine. Praise God. It was just uh, the first few weeks of September was really nutty. Oh, okay. Then it's like Texas. <laughs> the area is like Texas. But yeah, that was September. <laughs> it was, like I said, just very nutty. But praise God, it's all over with. We're fine. It's we've both been like kind of just taking it easy, recovering. Even though for the most part we're we're completely over it, but it's for me personally, it's just mainly fatigue. It's like a mixture. I have my pregnancy fatigue, and then I have this fatigue. And well, this fatigue's already pretty much going away. Um, like we're pretty much like completely out of it as like with the COVID craziness. My husband's already back at work and he still has to take it easy, of course. But it's, yeah, it's like I said, it's just like, it's just really mind boggling. Just everything. But then, like, I got, um, with me, I guess what helped is because I got, like, an antibody infusion. The infusion, there, we just barely found out about it. But that actually was a really, praise God, that was a big help when they offered it. to just to determine if I move five minutes away from the center shake just shaky shake Boy. my move five minutes away from the center just shaky shake because I feel cold oh oh okay then you're you're really used to like the mild temperatures I think for us where I start feeling cold yeah, I think it's probably around, when I really, really start feeling cold, it's probably like around in the 50s, 
maybe 60s, 50s is usually around maybe 50s is where I'm like, I'll start shivering. I always like say like usually my thought process is when it comes to winter I'm like um I think of myself as a lizard a very happy lizard in the heat because I cannot like I have very low tolerance when it comes to cold like the only time I'll step outside in the cold is that I have to be completely bundled up I have to have like I have to either have my hat my scarf a little fur coat of some kind, my boots. If I can't feel it, I'm fine. If I can't feel the cold, if I can, it'll help me tolerate it and I'm fine. I think the only time I made an, the only times ever in my life that I've made an exception is usually during, um, I remember in college we had a, the very first time I ever saw snow in my life, ever saw snow. Because I had never seen snow, like, until I was older. I think I was about... I'm trying to see. Let's see, because I was a sophomore. Yeah, I was a sophomore by the, in college by the time I saw snow. So I was about 20. 19, 20 by the time I saw snow. And that was... <laughs> that time I remember I took a documentary. So sad to hear that you both got sick. Yeah, well, it was, we were kind of mentally preparing for it, honestly, because there was already a few cases in our area and at work where my husband works, there was already a few cases that were way too close to home. So we figured we were kind of mentally preparing at that point. So yeah, it's probably, we were anticipating it was gonna happen sooner or later at one point. So we weren't really necessarily surprised, but at the same time, we were still trying to take as much precautions and we were so, and we were so careful with it. And then when I still got it, we figured it was the cat. <laughs> we figured my cat got, our cat got, a, got me sick. As funny as it sounds or as odd as it sounds. Yeah, but imagine Texas humid. Well, I uh, that's what I've heard, but I guess it depends which part of Texas. Because in the area I live, um, the area I grew up in was very dry. Very, very dry. Chicken soup for... Oh, that would be nice. <laughs> we had, like, some of our, like, some of our family, well, our family and, um, and some of the members of our church, they brought us soup. They brought us soup. And that was, especially when you don't have the energy to cook, it was so helpful. Bush, you both can get well very soon. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, like I said, praise God, we're doing fine. It's just mainly, like I said, for me, it's just energy levels, but my energy is coming back. I'm pretty much like at back up to 100%. My husband's still taking, he has like, because he ended up getting some lung inflammation. Um, He's fine. He's completely fine. The only thing that affected him was some, he has some slight lung inflammation. And that'll clear up in a few weeks, God willing. So, so right now he still has to, because of his instruments and things like that, he has to play music. He has to take it easy for a little bit, but it's whatever he can tolerate. But other than that, we're, we're completely, we're pretty much fine. It's just, of course, with us, our doctors just say just to take it easy, just to... Keep things slow, do things at a slower pace. It's like my only thought process with it is just like really, really be careful with it. That's the only thing we've, we were able to just tell people and stuff is just be very, very careful. It's not like, it's a very, very strange illness. That's all I can say.
Actually, I think I should let that kind of dry a little bit for a second because it's gonna the layers are gonna meld. It's the thing in the states I can be under 10 degrees Fahrenheit playing with snow without shaking for hours, but once I'm back to it gets to high and you see everybody dressing like if there was going to. <laughs> That's a blizzard. Wow. That's so funny. That is so funny. <laughs> I, I think that's what it is though it's because like I think it's just a psychological thing if you think about it because usually because snow especially in your in your in an area that where there's snow doesn't happen very often it's a treat it's really fun it's a treat all right hold on just a second I'm gonna this is like another project that I was gonna kind of do a little show and tell I'm gonna do like a little quick show and tell for a second while I get this drying. I'm gonna set this out of the way. This I was working on, these this project I was working on, or these pieces actually, right before we got sick. So I'll just kind of like, I'll flip it over for a second. Put this to the side. These I was sewing. I got some new books. Calls me, calls me a lizard because I'm so keen to the heat. If not, she calls me an Aussie spider. <laughs> That's me. I'm like I'm very much heat. I'm cold. I'm very very cold blooded, or hot blooded, or however you want to call it. I guess when it comes to the heat. I tell my husband like jokingly, or I tell everybody jokingly that I'm like a lizard. I'm a happy lizard. My husband loves the cold. Like if we were actually in a northern climate, he probably would be ecstatic. He'd be happy. Let me see. This is like my one book. One of the first books I was working on actually in September. I'm a, ter a terrarium because I love... <laughs> This is my latest book that I created recently. You can kind of see it kind of flattens. All my pages, the paper that I use specifically for this is mixed media. You can use it with, with ink, pencil, paint, whatever you want to use it for. Use it for journaling. This has another sketchbook. This is one. I don't know, I'm kind of seeing if you can kind of get it at a different angle. I use different types of paper for my books. There's this one. This one's kind of more of a limited edition because I only had like, it's a very, a paper, rare paper that I had. Here's the binding. You can kind of see a little bit up close. I don't know if you can kind of see it. It might, the lighting in here might not be great. It's the same way. You kind of just open it up. I'm trying to see if I can, yeah. Right here, you can kind of see the binding here. What I love about these type of books is like you, I love exposed bindings, especially because Coptic stitch binding like this it's the oldest, it's one of the oldest, it's one of the oldest style of books in history, actually. There's a lot of, it goes back thousands of years, it goes back a long time. As far as like the history of it, I don't, I'm going to have to look into it a little bit further. This is another one that I did. You can kind of see with this one, it's a little bit more of a neutral tone, has like some really pretty marbling pattern. This is my binding here. Again, with the exposed binding. I do different sizes. I have, this is my, my medium size, my standard size that I usually work with, that I sew. There's this binding. You can kind of see. 
especially I feel it's like whenever you journal or whenever you write, either keep it as a diary, like I said, or a sketchbook. When it lays down flat like this, it's, it's more comfortable to work with. And that's just my opinion. Everybody's got their own preference. There's this one. So I have these three large ones, like I said. And these, I'm actually going to list these for, um, actually, I already have these listed for sale. Snow is so fun to play with. Yes, yes, it is. Like I said, it, it's just like a, I guess it's just something psychological with everybody that grew up in a more warm climate. Especially like with me, I didn't know about snow. I didn't see snow till I was in my 20s. And it was a lot of fun. Except I think I almost got frostbite once. That was really, that was a really dumb thing. Yeah, these are my three larger books. These are, I have listed for sale in my Ko-Fi shop or coffee. I don't know how that thing's pronounced, but it's, um, I have these listed for sale. So usually my books, I don't make a lot of books. I'll usually spend maybe like a couple weeks or a, like, yeah, maybe like about two weeks or so, like creating like a, but like a series of books, my medium sized books and my small books. Mainly just because I most of my artwork is through painting. And I'll do drawing and stuff as well. But thank you. Love your book bindings. They're so gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's my larger one. And this one, I want your take on this one. This one is my one of my smaller books. And I'll show you another small book that I have. My smaller books. This is my more, my other traditional binding that I have. This one has hearts and I have some other ones I can kind of poke out a little bit. And this one's the same thing. It's just like a little smaller version of my other ones. This one has more of like a twine Again, they lay flat. This one, I this one is like more of like if you want to put it in your messenger bag or pocket or keep it with you, handy. I could, that's why I made these little ones, these little tiny ones. And this one is a little bit of an. I'll just put this. On. I'm really excited about this one. Let me kind of lay it down flat this way. This one I'm really excited about. It was a bit of a, this is a new style that I'm trying out just for fun. And um, well, and not necessarily for fun, but this one is already gonna be, this one's already for sale in my Ko-Fi shop too. Work is just so clean. Thank you. Thank you so much. And this one, um, I was trying my hand at acrylic pouring. This one is actually, it's a mixture. It's kind of supposed to be, um, what's it called? It's supposed to be kind of like a dual art piece. I call it a dual art piece, meaning that you have your, this is a book, it's the same thing. I have everything kind of like laid out the same way. Binding is in here. Lays down flat exactly like my other ones. And also too, it's like, and of course, like the thicker paper for painting and all of that. And then, but the thing, what I was going for with this is of course, like if you're done with a book, like you don't wanna, you just wanna still keep it. You can have it just laid it straight out flat and have it on display too, like a little art piece. And because of the acrylic pour, this one I did an acrylic pour on both sides. Let me see if I'm gonna lay it, try to lay it down flat again so you can kind of see both sides. There's this side. I'm gonna flip it over. Well, at front or back, it doesn't really matter how you start it. It's a different preference, but this one I figured dual purpose. 
So this one is genuinely, well, they're all mixed media, but this one's genuinely like full on mixed media. I was really, really excited the way this one turned out. I love them. One of the oldest way to bind books. Dear, oh dear, gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is my latest one so far. And I have a and I have another one on the side that I'm kind of working on right now. I have some more minis. Let me put this away. Let me see if I can kind of put my other ones out. I have like a few others. See, this one is a pink one that I have too. This one's kind of more of the plaid or gingham, whatever it's called. Where, how much? Okay, so I'm gonna put on a link. I, I think I'll, well actually I'll type in a link right now. My Ko-Fi, I have these listed on my Ko-Fi shop. Except for these, I don't think this one I need. Oh, well, actually I could probably put it in. But there's this binding, the small one, and it has kind of like a gold tone to it. These have a really gold tone to it. saw snow after my 20s <laughs> these little ones let me see I'm gonna see if I can try to I'm trying to clear my desk a little bit okay my larger ones <laughs> sorry I'm like now I'm trying to like get these back up the place This, these bigger ones, this bigger standard one is 15. My larger ones like this are 15 and my little tiny ones that are this size, you can kind of see the size difference. So you can kind of see these. This one is 10. The little ones that are like pocket size like this are 10 and these are my, these are 15. These I have listed on my Ko-Fi. See if I can kind of Let's see if I can type it in. Cause I usually have them listed in my, I have these in my Instagram and then I have these in here. My Ko-Fi is gonna be my official shop. Ko-Fi is my shop. If you want to see like my other like works in progress when I'm actually making them, like I actually have like more things like that. I have like my other You see. This is my link tree. And my link tree has all my handles. Like if you just want to follow me like just in my other social media handles. I have those on there. I try, I'm trying to organize everything in one spot. So there won't be too many going on back and forth with it. Let me see. My Ko-Fi shop is still kind of under construction, so I don't have all my stuff posted on there right now. I have like a few of them. 
but though like I'm pretty flexible you can go on there on my Ko-Fi and like I said you can kind of like look at them on my Instagram as well you can see all my stuff in progress Ko-Fi the only thing like right now well, like with my shop I'm still kind of like inputting everything and adjusting all the the details 